That's a General Electric refrigerator right there. Pay thirteen hundred something dollars for when it was brand new. Everything on this refrigerator has been changed. But one thing will come to hit in a minute. This whole panel control, this is the ice maker, water maker, and all that good stuff right there. It's been changed. All that's been changed. This is the freezer side. Ice maker's been changed at least six times. The pins and holes of shells has been changed. This is a General Electric freezer rater. And this is the freezer side. Here's your freezer side. That pump head up there, filter head up there, has been changed twice. Clips and things that host the trays, same thing. That's a general lecture. And a few people out there that buy a general lecture, if you have no problem, good luck for you. But on my case, in my side, this is the General Electric. Everything has been replaced at least three or four or five times. Mother Boris, you name it, it's been placed. Today, what's going on it now today, is where you fit the free iron. 500 something dollars to buy, to buy it. $595, something like that. Is that what it is, Pat? Uh-huh. And a hundred something dollars to put it in. Well, I'm going to tell you. Let me give y'all a tip out there. Don't ever, ever buy a General Electric freezer rate. you got nothing but problems. Yes, sir. How much you say? What did you say the thing was that's bad on it? Huh? What's bad on it? Bad on what? The uh, General Electric refrigerator. The compressor. The compressor is bad and they want how much? $882. $882. $882. I you people that likes General Electric product, I advise you to never buy it. There is sets for us. When I was a young boy, that's all I bought was General Electric. But from the day that I bought that piece of shit right there, it's been nothing t from the beginning to the end. So I would advise y'all out there to get to watch this video. Don't ever ever buy a General Electric freezer rider. Thank you.